In this lesson, we'll be creating our link, moving to our main file and activating this one. I'm going to right click and select new component, going to our new component and renaming this one as link. Hitting enter and right click, selecting isolate. Expanding our triangle and turning on the visibility of our origin. Hitting L to grab our line and selecting our XY plane. So I know I'm selecting this XY is because whenever I hover over this plane, notice XY highlights. So selecting this plane. Let's drop our first point here and holding our left mouse button to create an arc. Holding it once more and connecting it to this endpoint. Hitting escape. And hitting D to grab our dimension tool. Selecting the center point and the center point. Drop our dimension here. I'm going to key in 30. Selecting this arc. Left click and left click here to drop our dimension. I'm going to key in 10. Hitting enter. Hitting escape and moving our dimension up. Hitting C to grab our circle. Creating another circle here. Left click at the origin. The diameter to be 10. Hitting enter. Hitting C to create another circle. Left click. Hitting escape. Selecting this one and this one. Right click. Selecting equal. Hitting L. To grab our line, left click at the center point and the center point, hitting escape, selecting this horizontal line, hitting X, selecting our horizontal line once more and our origin, right click and select midpoint. So from blue, it turned into black, meaning this one is fully constrained. I can now hit E to grab our extrude tool. And prompted to select a profile, selecting this profile. Direction once more to be symmetric. I'm going to select whole length. Now the thickness to be 5. And I prefer adding this profile as well. So selecting this profile and this profile. So take note, 3 selected, hitting OK. Next. Let's contract this folder and turn on the visibility of Sketch 1 and hitting E to grab our extrude tool. We're going to hover our cursor over the circular profile and left click and hold. Now a drop down appears, selecting profile. Now under start, I'm going to select from object. Now we are prompted to select an object, selecting this face. And I'm going to grab this arrow and key in 10. And finally, hitting OK. Now to check, I can hit I to grab our measure tool, selecting this face and this face. So confirmed, it's 10. I can now hit close and hit E once more to grab our extrude tool. Moving here and holding our left mouse button and selecting profile. Now for start, selecting from object, selecting this face, grabbing our arrow and keying in negative 15. Finally, hitting OK. Turning off the visibility of our origin and activating our whole assembly. Going to home view. And I'd like to turn off the visibility of sketch one as well. Congratulations for completing our third part. And see you in the next lesson.